Metro Schools is honoring several teachers and a resource officer after a stabbing attack at Overton High School last week. News Channel 5's Mo Heider joins us live from district headquarters this morning. OK, Mo, what did they do and how is the district saying thank you? Yeah, hey there, Rebecca. Of course, you know, this pandemic has been really tough, particularly on teachers. And yesterday, the school board did recognize four teachers, also a school resource officer for their exemplary service. Now, they honored uh, P teachers Christina Carlson and John Hobson, along with history teacher Deshaun Buchanan, health science teacher Beth Wilson, and officer, uh, officer Steve Schneitzer were all last night's Board of Education's meeting to receive certificates and hear some kind words. Now, last Thursday, police say a 14-year-old student was stabbed by another student in the gym at Overton High School. The district says three teachers and Officer Schneitzer rushed to isolate the situation and help the student in Wilson, who is also a nurse. They were able to give direction and what to do until first responders arrived. Now, Director of Schools Dr. Adrian Battle says the jobs of their staff members really goes beyond teaching. As a previous teacher and principal, I will tell you that this is the kind of situation schools never want, schools never want to face. We go into this line of work to teach, to educate, to help young people grow into adults and, le and the leaders we know that they deserve to be and that they will be and can be. But sometimes we have to step up to deal with emergencies and these teachers and this officer and this principal stepped up with poise and purpose. And Dr. Andrew Battle also went on to say she also did want to honor Jill Pittman, who is a principal of the school, for getting information out as fast as possible to families. And also, a bill is expected to pass in the state of Tennessee to help out when it comes to situations like this one. I'm going to talk more about that coming up in the next half hour. But for now, live outside of Metro headquarters, Mahider, News Channel 5.